I think the speed of change would lead most people, if they were being honest, to admit there's not enough hours in the day to read, digest, and kind of, you know, consume the changes and the opportunities and the kind of things to ignore and what, you know, what do we, what do we bank on next? And I think for our clients, who are bombarded with agencies and messages and conferences and peers of theirs doing certain things, it can be difficult to know. That's where Razorfish can make a difference. We're talking about an agency that doesn't just answer briefs. It's an agency that can be a partner and that can lead clients in a, in a very confusing environment. Razorfish good morning. So Razorfish is an interesting sort of Venn diagram almost of technology and marketing, right? They're a marketing agency for sure. They're also a technology company. Razorfish particularly is a special place because of the depth that we maintain between technology, creative, media, emerging experiences. All of those things sort of mixed together to create a very special chemistry here that I haven't seen in other agencies. So when you think about problem solving, it's not coming from a traditional consulting firm, it's not coming from a traditional agency firm, or it's not coming from a traditional IT organization. We have all three of those people within the organization. There's lots of smart people, lots of great experiences that people bring to the table, and it's truly a place where you feel like you're learning something every day. You've got all these people with very different points of view, very different ways of looking at the world, all trying to solve a problem. And it, it creates such interesting friction and tension that I think when it really works and the sparks fly, it's just magical. I think the biggest thing technology is allowing is to break this idea of traditional linear storytelling. So not only is it interactive, but I think the role of the, of the audience is starting to change. You look at our work for Axe on Anarchy, and consumers were actually part of the story that unfolded. They uh, created all the ideas for the story, and then they actually became part of the story. You know, we have more than 50 consumers who've been drawn in and are actual characters uh, in our story, and that's a great incentive. The company is made up of people who, who want to do something that's never been done before, which means that it's hard and it's messy. And I think that, you know, that is exactly what makes Razorfish such a special place. As a group, as an agency, we approach even the most analog of assignments with a digital mindset, with that digital DNA. What you end up with is, is a fan base versus a consumer. And the only way to get that kind of loyal, loyal, fan is, is a two-way relationship. Our belief is that, you know, if you look at the last 15 years, advertisers have woken up to the reality that they're in the software business, and now they're waking up to the reality that they're in the big data business. You have to move away from the old world that when I launch something, I'm done. Because right? in the digital world, that's when the fun begins, and you get all of this amazing input, both explicit data and, and hidden data from your customers that you can then use to, to get better at it. And having a partner who really understands data is really important to us. Otherwise, you can find yourself with lots and lots of data and precious little insight to carry you forward. The customers are speaking to us on lots of different channel touch points. So whether they come on their mobile device, where they use a, a retail physical emerging experiences capability, or they're coming through their desktop. We see emerging experiences as this way to really manifest that physical world becoming digital. We work a lot with Microsoft Connect on, on, on motion and using hand gestures and movements to interact with digital and do things that you didn't think were possible. I think a lot of the focus is looking into what's next so we can bring that innovation to our clients before anyone else. And we've been very successful in doing that. Razorf is, is a key partner for many, many years on a global level, understanding culture, technology, and what culture and technology means in that very specific moment for a very specific given project. You look to Germany or you look to England, they're each doing different experiments about the best way to service clients. So each one is its own little Petri dish, each working toward the same mission with the same values, but each one has its own approach. Something that's lived up to that promise would be a campaign that we worked on in Germany for McDonald's, which allowed the fans of McDonald's to actually do what they were talking about in social media, which was, I want to create my perfect burger. 
So we gave them the tools and the opportunity not only to build that burger and design that burger, but also then the media tools to be able to then create their own campaign, and then McDonald's made it. I think a quarter of all of Germany were exposed to this campaign, it became advertising, or became marketing, and became something that they all talked about, shared with one another. These days, all brands are digital brands. If you're not using digital, to manage your business and to connect with consumers, then you're missing the single biggest medium on the planet. The brands that, that embrace this always-on, consumer-driven world uh, are gonna win in the end. And, and not, just, not just win by having a better campaign or getting more followers on Twitter or more fans on Facebook, win in business. I think we have an opportunity now um, in our culture to actually bring more and more innovative and different thinking than we ever have before. And the reason for that is the proliferation of new companies that are starting, new technologies that are out there, and the expectation of consumers. Consumers want to experiment with brands. So this idea of bringing brand new thinking to our clients is probably more paramount than ever before. It really is a different time in marketing. It's fragmented, it's messy, there's a lot that still has to be invented, but I think for most of us at Razorfish, that's the fun in it.